In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a nested navigation bar for your iOS app design. Let's get started. So to get started, I'm opening up a project that I'm currently working on. This is a mobile bank app design. For this application, the bottom navigation has several states, including a home state, analytics, messages, and then a profile view. I just finished creating the four main pages of the application, but now I want the bottom navigation to reflect which page that the user is actually on. At the moment, I only have an active state for the home section, so I'm going to want to create active states for all the other sections. To ensure consistency throughout the project and to make sure that the navigation is always the same, I'm going to make this navigation into a symbol and then place symbols inside of it. So first, I'm going to take this navigation bar, which I've already labeled navigation bar. It's one solid group at the moment. And I'm going to go up here and click create symbol. When I do, this prompt asks me what I want to call the symbol, so I'll just leave it as navigation bar and say OK. Now this is a symbol, so if I click into it, it brings me into the symbols page where I have that navigation bar. I'm going to want to create a symbol for the different states within this symbol so I can easily swap them out. So within this home, I'm going to double click and see it says home right here. This is actually a group of the home icon and the word home. I'm going to take this entire group and also create a symbol for it. Now instead of just calling this home, I'm going to want to create a structure so my symbols are organized. So I'm going to call it navigation, bar, icons, home, and then on to indicate that is the on state of home and I'm going to say okay. When I do so, this is actually a symbol which is placed over here. So for organization, I'm just going to move this around a little bit. Next, home will also need an off state. So I'm going to take this symbol and command C, command V it. So I copy and paste it, place it underneath and give it the off styling. So I'm going to grab the icon and the text and change the color of it to the off state and also relabel this symbol as home off. Next, I'm going to do the same thing for the analytics tab, then the messages, and then the profile tab. So I'm grabbing this group, making it into a symbol, and giving it the same naming convention. Now when I go back to the actual design page, if I click insert and then document, I can see that I have the navigation bar icons all listed here with their on and off states. This symbol is just called navigation bar, so I might wanna go in and rename it. Now if I go to insert and document again, everything's under navigation bar, and so first is the component for it, and then the icons are then accessible. So now that we made that into a symbol, I can easily swap things out. So the home state is already accurate with home being active, but on the analytics tab, I'm going to want to turn home off and turn on this analytics. Now, because we didn't import that symbol yet, it just has everything still as a group. So I'm going to delete the other navigation bars and then insert the new symbol that we created. I'm going to want to swap this analytics for the on state and turn the home state off. So when I click on this symbol, I now see that I can complete overrides in this panel on the side. So for the home state, I'm going to make it the off state. And for the analytics, I'm going to make it on. Then I'm going to do the same with the other navigation tabs. And that's it. So that's how I create nested symbols for my iOS app designs. In the next video, I'm going to show you how I animate this design. So when the user taps on each section, it actually transitions like a real application. Please let me know if you have any questions about the topic and subscribe to stay up to date with my latest content. Thanks for watching.